If you are a 12th standard student preparing for engineering entrances, then hats off. You are a fighter, a competitor, a gladiator. You are competing with 20 lakh competitors, many of whom you have never ever even seen in your life, but are fighting for the same seat in a top engineering college. You have spent years preparing, solving mock tests, chasing ranks, working hard. But here's the truth no one tells you. The system that helped you crack these entrances. MCQs, formulas, shortcuts, sample paper, mocks, mugging up. This system can also get you a degree, but it can't guarantee you a job. That's why so many students, even from top colleges, struggle. Why? Because degrees alone are not sufficient to get you a job. You need something more. That's what this video is about. Imagine getting into your dream college. At first, it seems like you have made it. And then soon you realize everyone else has made it too, just like you. You are a small fish in a very big pond. You can now choose to work harder, repeat what you did at school, but even more intensely. Or open your mind and realize that you could enter another kind of competition. But unlike the entrance exams, this competition doesn't care about your marks, not even if you sit in the first row or impress your professor. None of that matters here because this is an altogether different game. Lacks of B.Tech M.Tech, PhD students, even working professionals from around the world take part in it. And these are competitive coding challenges. It tests only one thing. Can you solve real life problems using code? No, it's nothing like your semester exams. No four options, no fixed formulas, no shortcuts. You get a problem, you think, you try, you fail, you fix. You figure out your own way to solve it with code. Every challenge sharpens your mind. You break down problems better, you write better code, and slowly you start thinking like an engineer. These aren't just cool tricks. These are real skills, skills that companies actually look for. Skills that help you stand out when it's time for placements. So, where do these challenges happen? On platforms like Code Forces, Code Chef, Hacker Rank, and many more. These aren't just competitions. These are like the chess championship of coding. Each contest puts you up against the coders from all over the world. You solve problems under pressure, just like in real tech jobs. And just like chess, they have ranking systems. You start as a beginner. The more you solve, the higher you climb. Top coders on Code Forces earn their title Red Coder. That's like becoming a grandmaster in the coding world. It's rare and it's respected. It shows that you have mastered your craft. The best part, you don't need a fancy college tag to get there. Just consistency, practice, and the courage to keep going. But here's the real problem. Most engineering colleges say that they support this coding practice. And yes, many students also get to participate in such competitions. They post their achievements on LinkedIn, they win, they grow. But what you don't see, most of them had to figure it out on their own. They juggle coding practice with mugging up for semester exams. They don't get real encouragement, just pressure. So just a few students even get to participate. Even fewer stick with it long enough and only a few people get to win. The rest, they sit in lecture halls, listen to lectures, cram notes and mug up for semester exams. That's why so many students from even top colleges are unprepared. Not just for coding competitions, but for the real world too. Unless it is Calvium. At Calvium, you code every single day. You learn by doing, you solve real problems, you build real skills backed by one-on-one -on -one mentor support. Your mentors, they guide you, encourage you and help you take on challenges. You use professional grade tools, the same ones that real tech teams use. So you're not just ready for coding contests, you're ready for real tech careers. And now this advanced B.Tech program by Calvium is available at 20 plus NAC accredited universities across India. Want to know more? Check out this video.